Hey everybody, welcome to Zyre Yoga. I'm Kayla. It is a beautiful morning in November and we're gonna move our bodies together. Before I begin, please like this so I know that you're here. Um, and I just wanna remind you of some retreats that I have coming up. So in February, we're going to Nicaragua, the 16th through the 22nd. Second, it's me and Crystal from Health Path Yoga. We're staying at a really beautiful place in Southern Nicaragua. She's um, Her family is from there, so she's been a ton of times. It's gonna be wonderful. She and I are also going to Joshua Tree in April, the 22nd through the 26th of April. That one is really great if you are in the United States and you're not trying to travel overseas. It's a small retreat, so lots of time to kind of hang out and get to know each other without a ton of people and yeah, please come to that. And then if you want to travel with me to my favorite um, island in the entire world, we're going to Wales in June, June 5th through 8th. And I would really love if you came with me on that, uh, especially those of you who are in the UK. I would love to see you. And yeah, let's go. Let's retreat together. For yoga today, we're going to start laying on our backs. So just find your way on your back. If you can have the long edge of your mat facing whatever you're watching me on, that would be ideal. If you can't, you might just have to come to the top of your mat instead of to the back of it when I um, cue you to go there. Because we're going to come through the center of the mat every time that we move. When it feels good, just taking a moment, breathing into the belly, filling up into the ribs, into the lungs, into the collarbones. As you exhale, let it go out through the mouth. Let's do two more. Exhaling it all out. One more time. Letting it go. Then the next time that you inhale, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And just start to find that long, smooth, even inhale and exhale, ujjayi pranayama if you like it, that ocean sounding constricted breath. And as you're breathing here, just taking some time to set an intention for yourself. If you have a goal you're working towards in your practice today, if you have a reason that you showed up, if there's something big going on in your life and you just want to send energy to it, you're going to create your intention as an I am statement. I am breathing. I am living in Spain. I am whatever it is. Bring it into your mind, repeating it with the breath. As you're ready, bringing your feet so that they're flat down on the ground. Arms are going to come out into a low V, and we're just going to start by rocking the legs side to side. Seeing how this feels on your low back. We're going to do a little bit of glute activation before we get off the ground today because my left glute isn't activating properly, so I need to get that sorted before we can I can move with you. So just starting off with this kind of side to side movement, noticing if one side feels a little different than the other. And then we'll find our way through center. Take your feet so that they are hips width. That's the hip bone in the front of your hip, not the outside of the fleshy bits of your bit of your hips. Bringing the hands so maybe they can graze the backs of those heels. And we're going to start not lifting the hips up. I just want you to rock your tailbone down to the ground, almost like you're doing a cow pose on your back. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in, squeeze it, plant that low back back down on the ground. And we'll start just with that, lifting the belly button up towards the sky and squeezing to plant the low back back down. A little mouse could run under your back as you lift and then you're smashing it down, not on the mouse, but just closing off that space. And then as we're here, we can start to activate through the glutes, pressing into the heels, maybe lift up just the tiniest bit towards a bridge, still releasing the back from the floor for that kind of upside down cow shape each time you come down. 
and we can start to make that bigger. Lifting the hips up, pressing into the heels, feel your glutes squeeze, and roll back down. If it feels good, bring your arms into it, reaching them up over the head as you lift and bringing them back down. Finding your breath, inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you lower. Unless you want to do it Pilates style, then you can breathe the opposite way and you'll exhale as you lift. Whatever feels natural for you. The next time that you have your hips lifted, whether you have your arms up above you or down by your sides, hold here. And you're going to think about your right hip releasing. So you're releasing the glute, right hip's going to dip down towards the ground and then you'll squeeze it back up and we'll take it to the left. So you're just tipping your hip side to side. I didn't mention it before, so I'm going to do it right now before I forget. There are links for those retreats in the description below. Just keep going side to side a few more times, getting those glutes active. We'll go three and two. Mm, you can feel it. Last time. And then drawing the hips back down, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug, draw a circle with the legs together. Going one way and then the other. As it feels good, roll over onto your right side and you're gonna bring your heel into your bum, giving yourself a quad stretch. Then gently rock back through center all the way to the other side. Quad stretching on that right leg. And then gently coming back to center, knees into the chest again. Let's rock forward and back a few times. And then we're gonna find our way up. And you're going to turn yourself around so that you are facing the right side of the mat if you were facing, so if you were facing the, whatever you're watching me on, and then you'll go to the right side of your mat and start to move through cat and cow. Hey, if you're watching this during um, like Thanksgiving weekend when I am sending this out, this yoga mat is Health Goth Yoga and it's on sale right now if you're not watching it during this weekend that I'm talking about. Uh, it's still available for purchase, just not on sale, but if you keep an eye, Crystal sends out some pretty good sales pretty often. Let's cat and cow a few more times. And then we'll find our way back through center, drawing in through the belly. Right leg's going to reach back, tuck the toes. Start by just rocking forward and back a few times. And then we're gonna float the leg up, bend in the knee, draw a circle towards your shoulder, and back and around. We'll draw it the opposite direction. And then we're gonna start bringing a little bit of heat in. So drawing the leg back, flexing in the foot, let's squeeze the heel up towards the sky. Notice what's going on with your belly. Let's squeeze that belly in. And then we're gonna add on to this. So nice and slowly, you're gonna pulse that knee up, draw the knee in to the chest, lengthen out, and then bend the elbows, tap your chin. Bringing back to center, bend the leg, pulse it up. Exhale, knee to chest. Lengthen it out, bend the elbows. Bend the leg, pulse it up. Knee to chest. Lengthen the leg out, bend the elbows, tap the chin. One last time, bend the knee, squeeze it up. Knee to chest, lengthen out, tap it down, and then draw the knee in, rounding the back, find a kneeling lunge, reach the arms over your head. As you exhale, twist right. <sighs> Inhale back through center. Exhale, twist right. Squeeze your left glute while you're here. Inhale, reach up. 
Last time, twist it to the right. Take it back up through center, hands will float to the ground, and you'll just shift forward and back a few times through half split. If your knee is sensitive, you might wanna pop a blanket or a pillow under the knee. If you have one of those cool gel yoga things, pop that under there. The next time that you're shifting forward, left toes are gonna to turn. You're gonna walk yourself over to the long edge of your mat and cat and cow with the legs in this kind of like kneeling warrior two shape. So your right toes are pointing to the top of your mat, left toes pointing behind you. And then we'll come through center. Left hand's gonna to reach to the left side of your mat, right arm up towards the sky, lengthening out the right leg. Rotate through the wrist a few times. Drawing in through the belly, we'll sweep up all the way, gate pose. Exhale, take yourself down. Reach over with the right arm. Pick it up. Using that right oblique, bring it back down. All the way up. All the way down. Let's go one last time. Take it up. Ooh, all the way back down. Floating that leg off the ground, right one. And then bring the heel in towards your bum. And if you can reach it, give yourself a quad stretch. Slowly lengthening that leg back out, toes to the ground, right hand will come to the ground, left leg will step back, find a plank. Holding here in your plank, think about your shoulders coming around towards your chest. So you're nice and wide in the upper back. Inner thighs are gonna lift. You can drop to the knees if you prefer it. We'll hold for three and two and one. Drop to the knees, elbows pointing back, chaturanga. Untuck the toes, lift the chest. And let's take a child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. Notice how everything's feeling. Maybe rock side to side a few times. Remind yourself of your intention. Hmm. Then we'll slowly come back up. Wagging your tail. And then drawing the belly in. Left leg's gonna reach back, tucking the toes under at the back of your mat. Start with that little bit of calf stretch. And then finding your shoulders over your wrists, float the leg up, bending in the knee, draw the knee around towards your shoulder and back. Ooh. Take the circle the opposite way, so it goes into the chest and then out and around. And then we'll lengthen the leg back, bending in the knee, square your hips and pulse up. So I'm gonna put my hand on my butt cheek so I can make sure that my butt is doing what it's meant to be doing because like I said, my left glute is being annoying and I wanna make sure that that's what's working here. So if you feel like it's in your hamstring more than it's in your butt, just put your hand on your butt. Reminding your brain of what muscle is supposed to be working. We'll go one more and then we'll draw the knee in. Lengthen the leg out, elbows back. See if you can tap your chin. Press up, bend the leg, pulse up, knee to chest, lengthen out, tap the chin, two more, bend the knee, pulse up, draw the knee in, lengthen out, tap the chin, last time, bend the knee, pulse it up, knee to chest, lengthen out, tap the chin, and then draw the knee in, stepping it forward, kneeling lunge, Ooh, deep breath in. Squeeze your right glute so you're not sinking. As you exhale, twist to the left. Squeeze that glute harder. Inhale, back up through center. Two more twists, exhale. Inhale, back up. Exhale. Inhaling up. Hands down to the ground. Start to shift forward and back between your half split. Whew, this side feels horrible. I've been having a little bit of issue with this leg. And then we went skiing and I'm not sure it helped. <laughs> Ooh, so finding that length and bending in, squeezing your right glute as you come forward so you're not dropping into the hip joint. The next time that you come forward, hands to the inside of your left foot, 
right toes will turn and you'll walk yourself to the long edge of your mat. Left toes stay out to the left. See how a cat and cow feels here. Ooh, maybe the side is different than the other side. Hmm. Coming back through center. Left, or right hand's gonna go to the right side of your mat. Left leg's gonna go long, left arm up. Finding that kneeling lunge. Then drawing in through the belly. Bring yourself up, gate pose. It wasn't a kneeling lunge, that's the crazy thing I just said. Kneeling side plank, reach it over. Take it up. All the way over. All the way up. Taking it down, we're gonna go up one last time. I lost count, so hopefully this is four. Feeling that oblique working, and then taking it down, left leg will float up. And if you can reach for it, grab your foot, give yourself a quad stretch here. And we'll release that leg out. Take the toes to the ground, squaring your hips, lifting yourself up, plank holding. So again, you can drop to your knees if you prefer to in plank. Think about crunching through the front of your body, pressing into your fingertips, pressing out through the heels, up through the inner thighs, nice and strong through the whole body. We'll hold for three and two and one. Staying on the toes if you prefer or dropping to the knees. Try to run. Up dog or cobra. Finding that out. Sorry, somebody went to their car in front of my house. Sit, sit down, stay. All right, so finding your way into downward facing dog when you're ready. Hopefully that's not as loud for you with my microphone as it is for me. Taking a couple of movements here. Is he gonna get closer to the mic and bike bark some more? Maybe, hey, no. Ooh, so just noticing how this feels. Wagging your tail side to side. Pedaling out the legs. Holding for three and two and one. See if you can settle those heels down to the ground. As you're settling them in the direction of the ground, lift the tailbone. Find a little bit more pull through the backs of the legs. On your next inhale, look forward. And exhale, step, hop, or walk yourself to the top of your mat. Grab opposite elbows when you arrive. Ragdoll. So we're only going to do two standing sequences. And then we'll be back on the ground. So halfway lifting to inhale. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, roll up, reach up, look up. Finding your way into extended mountain and then exhale the hands to your heart center. Remind yourself of your intention while you're here. Say something nice to yourself like you're amazing for getting up and doing this wherever you are, whatever time it is. Making time for yourself. On your next inhale, bend into the knees, sweep the arms, chair pose. Take a moment in your chair, looking down, making sure you can see your toes. Weight's gonna go to the right leg, left leg's gonna sweep back. We're gonna go straight into warrior three. So I want you to think in warrior three, shoulder and heel in a line. So that means you have to be up here because your leg can't go high, that's fine. Or you can come down low, but this with your leg low and shoulders low, not it. I'm trying to keep a nice strong plank-like body. One more long breath. And we'll step that back foot down, warrior one, reach the arms over your head. See if you can sink deeper into your front leg as you exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands behind the back. Clasping, open up through your chest. And then tip yourself forward to humble warrior. Looking to your back foot. Shake out your head. We're going to move from here into goddess. You're going to release your arms. Sweep your left arm around. Goddess yourself to the long edge of your mat. Press those knees wide. Deep inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold, turning the toes to the long edge of the mat. Halfway lifting to inhale. Exhale, folding down, clasp your hands behind your back, lengthening, you're gonna turn your left toes to the left and turn yourself to the left for your humble warrior. 
Noticing how it feels here. Press into your front leg, sweep the arms up, find your uh, warrior one. <sighs> Lift a little bit taller, shifting the weight forward, warrior three. Drawing in through the belly. And then adding on just a little bit here on this side, see if you can take your left hand down, opening up for a moment towards half moon, and then right foot is gonna float to the ground. Left foot is gonna step back, side plank. Dropping the knee if you prefer it, or keeping it up. Ah. Coming through center, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. And finding your way to downward facing dog. How is that? Looking forward on your inhale, bending in the knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lifting. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deep, sweep the arms, find your chair. Same thing starting on the other side. So chair pose. Sink a little deeper, press into the heels, feel those glutes active. And then you're gonna bring the arms back as you send your right leg back, warrior three. Thinking about that plank body, squaring the hips. One more deep breath. Float the back foot down, warrior one. Reach the arms. Exhale the hands behind the back. See if you can bring the funny grip so your opposite thumb is on top. Open up through the chest. Humble warrior. Moving from here into your goddess, you'll release your arms. Sweeping open the right arm, turn yourself into your goddess. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, turn and dive forward into your fold. Halfway lifting to inhale, clasping the hands, exhale down. Take another breath in. As you exhale, turn your right toes to the right side of your mat, finding your way to your humble warrior. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up, warrior one. Ooh. Exhale, shift forward, warrior three. And then just like on the other side, adding that half moon, so right hand will reach to the ground. If you need to bend your right leg, go for it. Opening up, half moon. And then you're gonna start to bring the left foot down, plant your right hand and slide your right foot back, side plank. Ooh, holding for three and two and one. Come to center, chaturanga, up dog or cobra. And you know you can always skip these, finding downward facing dog. You might not know, if you're new here, I don't care. If you do any of this, you're at home, I can't see you. You won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> but definitely skip those chaturangas if you don't like them. All right, one more standing sequence going all the way from one side of the mat to the other. Look forward on your inhale. As you exhale, step or hop to the top. Halfway lifting. Exhale, folding. Bend your knees deep, sweep your arms. Finding your chair pose. Shift the weight to your right leg. Left knee is gonna come up, cross it over, find a one leg chair. Maybe you can take the arms back up over the head. If you have flying pigeon and you want to pop yourself into it, go for it. Flexing in the foot. We're going to bring the knee back up. You're going to open up warrior two. Ooh. Back hand to back thigh, reach to reverse. Exhale, take it forward, side angle, top arm lifting. Drawing in through the belly, you're going to exhale. Bring that forearm to the opposite forearm. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, close it down. <sighs> Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. On this last time, if you can, bring your left elbow in front of the right elbow. Give yourself a hug and open up towards that goddess. It will circle towards the left. Ooh. If you prefer an eagle wrap with the arms, go for it. Otherwise, just stay here. Opening up into your goddess. And then taking yourself into side angle towards the left side. So left toes facing the back side of the mat. And we'll exhale, take it down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, forearms touch. Inhale, lengthen. Two more. Not taking the hug on this last one because we're gonna reach to reverse. Ooh. And then into warrior two. We're coming from here into that standing figure four. So turning your chest ooh, towards that left side. Draw the right knee up. Figure four. Ooh. 
then dropping the foot down. Find yourself into chair and sweep the arms up. Exhale, folding over. Grab the backs of your legs. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Looking straight between your knees. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Bend your knees deep. Sweep your arms. Find your way into your chair. Taking that all on the other side. So right knee will come back up. Opening up into that standing figure four or single leg chair. Press into your uh, left heel. Feel the glute engage. Arms can go over your head. You can hold on to something like I am if you need to. And then we're going to find that warrior two. So you'll open that leg out, reaching it back. Warrior two, left leg is the one that's bent. Re reach to reverse. Whoo, forearm to thigh. Side angle. Bringing the forearm down. Closing yourself off. Inhale, open back up, find that length. Exhale, close down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, close down. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen this last one if you can. Right elbow in front of left, giving yourself a hug, opening towards goddess and circle to the right. <sighs> Coming back up through center, lengthen out long. Exhale, find a fold. This time while we're here, since it's the last time, let's just take the side to side stretch here, getting the adductors stretched out. Then finding center, right toes will turn to the right, bending into the knee, side angle. Squeeze through your left glute as you exhale, close down, forearm to forearm. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, close down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last time, inhale. Exhale, close it down. Reach it back up. Find reverse. Into warrior two. We're gonna find that figure four, or single leg chair, so turning your chest, left leg will come up, crossing over the right, holding. Whoop. One more deep breath. Dropping that heel down. Inhale, sweep up the arms. Exhale, sink down really deep. Lift the heels, come into a crouch, and then sit yourself down. Soles the feet together, knees wide. Lean yourself over. And that butterfly, cobbler, whatever you want to call this. It might feel good to move around a little bit here. Trying to keep your chest lengthening so you're not rounding your back. And then we'll find our way through center. Lengthen the legs away from you a little bit so you have a longer diamond here. And this time you're gonna to try to bring the top of your head to your feet, rounding the back. Moving around, see how this feels. Hmm. If you want to turn to the long edge of the mat, you can, because as we inhale, we're going to come back up. Hands are going to come to the inside of the thighs, and you'll lengthen the legs out into a wide straddle. Put the hands behind you. Pick yourself up for a moment so that you bring the flesh out from your sitting bones. You might not have a really wide length. Uh, really wide. You might not have your legs really wide. That's what I'm trying to say. If they need to be bent, that's fine. Let's start by lengthening up through the spine and see if you can just squeeze your right butt cheek. So not doing the left, just the right one. Squeeze it as hard as you can and see if you can just go about 50%. 25. So it's still squeezing a tiny bit and then squeeze it back up to 100 and release. Take a moment, notice how that felt, and let's try the left side. So squeezing to 100, noticing everything that's activating with it. Maybe you can get those other muscles to chill out. And then we'll go 50, still activating the glute, but not all the way. Maybe 25, just a little tiny tug. Back up to 100, see if you can squeeze both. Lengthening long, and if it feels good while you have them squeezing, maybe you tip forward just a little bit. If you can lay down, go for it. This is just all I have here. 
Keep squeezing those cheeks, maybe pressing the heels into the ground, lengthening through the spine. So we're not rounding to get forward here. Trying to keep your spine long. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, drop hands under the knees, take the legs in, giving yourself a hug, round your back. If you turn to the long edge of your mat, you can turn back to one side and rock your way down, knees into the chest, taking it side to side, little rocks. Right foot can come down, left ankle is going to go across, opening the knee up. You can stay right here. If you want, you can pull the knees in towards you. If you want, like I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift my hips up for a moment. One leg, bridge pose, letting that hip open a little bit more. And wherever you are, we'll take one more breath. As you exhale, drop the hips back down, arms out to a T, legs are gonna to drop to the right side so that the left sole of the foot is to the ground. Then this left knee can stay up for a figure four or you can draw it down towards you, wrapping the legs a little bit. Maybe you even take your hand right to the side of your pelvis so that you have a little support between your femur and your hip bone if you're closing the knee down to the ground. One of my favorite teachers always had us like roll up a small towel and put it right between the leg and the pelvic bone when we did twists like this. And it was always such a nice thing. Maybe we should do that more. One more deep breath in. Exhale, squeezing through the belly. We'll unwrap the legs first and rock back through center. Maybe rock side to side a little bit or forward and back with the pelvis, and we'll take that to the other side. So right ankle across left thigh, letting the knee drop open. And then just like before, you can stay here. You can draw the legs in for a stretch, or you can press your heel into the ground, lifting the hips for a figure four. Single leg um, bridge pose, activating the glute a little bit more. I'm going to the gym after this, so I really want that glute to work. <laughs> One more deep breath in, see if you can lift a tiny bit more. And then dropping down if you have your hips lifted, bringing your foot down if you have the legs in towards you, and we'll drop both legs to the left. Same as before. Maybe you close the knee up. Maybe you keep it open. It might feel good to take your left hand right between your pelvic bone and your leg to support that leg, not dropping too much into the joint. Slowing the breath back down, maybe reminding yourself of your intention. Two more breaths. As it feels good, we'll unwind the legs first, rock back through center, take the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop wide, hands are going to turn thumbs facing up, grab hold of the tops of your thighs, and then press them away from you, creating traction in your low back. Maybe you can scoot your shoulders higher. Hmm. One more long breath in. As you exhale, quit pushing the legs away from you. You can keep those knees open if that feels good or use the hands to close them off. Lengthening the legs out if you prefer, or I'm gonna take my knees to knock in towards each other. Bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. And we'll take three long breaths in. So fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest, hold it at the top. Exhale, let it go. Twice more. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, holding it in. Release it out through the mouth. One last time, fill it up. At the top of this one, see if you can take another inhale, maybe even another. Filling the lungs to the most capacity they can handle. Feel that energy building, holding just as long as you can. And when you need to exhale, let it go. Let your arms relax by your sides. And taking just this next few moments for rest.
If you want to stay in Shavasana for longer, I just did 10 breaths. I encourage you to stay longer. But if you have places to be, people to see, go ahead and start to bring movement back to your body. I'm going to be lengthening the arms over the head, lengthening the legs long, reaching out through the toes. <sighs> Whew. Bending one knee at a time, rock off onto one side. Take a moment there, remind yourself of your intention. If it was a goal related to this class, see if you can reformulate it to bring it with you into your life. And slowly pressing yourself up, finding a comfortable seat. <sighs> Lengthen up together, We're deeply inhaling. Exhale, shake it out. And then take one hand on top of the other at your heart center. Remind yourself that you are enough. You're worthy of everything you want in this life. And I want you to go out and give them hell. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing. Don't forget to say hi. Let me know that you were here. And I'll see you soon. Bye.